Uh, my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be my recommendations on the Sephora sale that's going on now. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I got a few things here. Well, it's not a few things. I got quite a few things <laughs> that I want to show you all. And I got some makeup and some skincare. So let's go ahead and get into the first item. All right, so the first one I want to start off is by Wishful. And this is their Clean Genie. And this is a clean cleansing balm and the reason that I'm recommending this one is because uh well these are for the ladies or the people that wear kind of heavy makeup and when I say heavy I'm talking about a full face or if you have lots of eyeshadow kind of like what I have on now or even mascara this is a cleansing balm that's going to take it off lickety split and once you put it on your skin it melts and it dissolves the makeup really fast and then you can continue on with your steps but I really like it it has like a green tint to it but this is a really good product and then with the sale you can kind of get that price down a little bit all right so next i got coming up is a cleanser and a moisturizer but what i particularly like about these two products is that they have probiotics and prebiotics and when you think of those yes you're thinking of live bacteria um, that's in a product that you're going to put on your face so you can think of it as uh, the same type of thing with yogurt when you eat yogurt you know some people may have issues with their gut and they might have to eat that but you can kind of think of this product which is by Coors and this is the foaming uh, cream cleanser and it has pre and probiotics and I like to use this in the morning and it's really light it's very gentle I think it would be really good for someone with sensitive skin so yeah this is a good cleanser to try all right so the next one that I have is by Kate Somerville and this is her cat this is the Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizer so with this moisturizer the same situation is going on as with the Coors cleanser you know it's got the goat milk and this is a very soft gentle moisturizer I like to use this in the morning because it is light and my husband also uses this as well and for those of you all who have been watching me you know uh, he uses my products too uh, but he has sensitive skin and this works really well on his skin as well so if you can um, you don't have to get these two products that I mentioned, but try to get you some products that have pre and probiotics um, because it's going to also help you with acne. You know, you don't want too much bacteria on your face. Again, that's going to help balance that out. And studies also suggest that it helps with anti-aging, you know, uh, wrinkles and things like that. So yeah, this is a good moisturizer. All right, so next I have an essence and this is by Laneige and this is their hydro essence and I absolutely love this and I'm almost finished with this and when I do I'm going to get some more this is a um, it has a very milky consistency and it absorbs into the skin really well so much so to where you don't uh, feel it you know how some products you can apply to your face and you just kind of still feel it this one absorbs really well and it just does a really good job of prepping your skin Skin, um, for the rest of your skincare products that you use this one plays well with you know every other skincare that I've ever used some essences while they're good they just don't play well with others but this one plays well and it's a good essence all right so next I have a foundation and if you want to see a full review on this particular foundation I link a card up above you can check it out I did a wear test but this is by it cosmetics and this is their latest one and this is your skin but better foundation and skin care and it says improve bare skin in two weeks it's water light medium coverage natural radiant and the shade that I have it in is rich cool 50 uh, but this shade is just a little bit deep on me but if you check out the review on this you'll see what I'm talking about so what I like about this particular foundation is that it has a skincare product added to it and I've always preached that if you're going to have a, if you're going to wear a foundation especially if you're going to wear it every day uh, for a long 
period of time, get a particular, get a product that has some skincare in it, um, especially some that's going to improve your skin. So that's why I'm recommending this one. Also, I think that it holds up. Um, during my wear test, I think that I wore it, I think it was an eight hour wear test or something like that. And at the end of the day, it held up well. As far as the coverage, it says that it's medium coverage and that's about it. That's all you're going to get uh, with this one. But yeah, definitely look into it. And if you're strongly considering it, look at some other uh, YouTube videos and see what other people have to say about it and see how they like it. But if you don't get this one, try to pick again, a foundation that's got some skincare added to it. All right, so the next three products were sent to me by Saturday Skin, complimentary for review. And I have used their products previously, previously, but in a travel size. So I am familiar with it. All of these are the larger sizes. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw that I posted about these. But you know, the interesting thing about these products is that when I posted, I had so many people come on there and say, oh my goodness, I love those products. They work, you know, more so than any other skincare products that I've posted on IG. So I was like, wow, that's really, that's something that I noticed. But I would pretty much call these anti-aging products because this one is a toner. This is their 10% glycolic plus pore control complex. So, you know, I talked about glycolic acid in my previous video a couple days ago. I'll link it up above just in case uh, you want to check it out. But, you know, glycolic acid, it's the one that's going to gently slough away those uh, dead skin cells and things like that. And it's going to keep your pores clear. You know, anytime that uh, your pores are not clear, it just kind of, it opens up and it makes them appear larger. But if your pores are clean and there's no uh, dirt or anything like that, it's going to make your pores appear smaller. So that's what you're going to achieve with this toner. And the next one is this eye cream. And this is their avocado plus date, date seed and this is their wide awake brightening serum so if you have issues with any darkness uh, under your eyes this serum would really be good to try and it's like a milky consistency and it's very smooth and it's very fast absorbing and just remember with any of your products you know try to use them consistently for a good amount of time so you can see results and this one also has a light scent to it very light very mild and it does dissipate very quickly and the last one in this little set is the rub-a-dub refining peeling gel and what this does is pretty much um, uh, slough off the dead skin cells that you might have on your face and you just apply a little bit and rub it in a circular motion and rinse and then go ahead with your next step it's a really nice product I'm actually going to try to pick up some other products in their line just to see how they are and and how they work out. All right, the next one is this Gucci bronzer and this little baby has to be my absolute favorite for a lot of reasons. Number one, I like the packaging, but I know none of you are uh, packaging junkies like me or packaging, I don't know, weirdos or whatever you want to call it, but I love the packaging. But this particular bronzer is really pretty. It does have a red undertone. Some people like it, some uh, not so much. When I wear it, I think it's pretty. I think it looks good on my skin tone. You know, when you're, when you're wearing bronzers, you know, there's a neutral undertone. There's kind of a more chocolatey undertone. So, you know, you just kind of have to decide what undertones you like in a bronzer because there's so many out there now. But this one is really pretty. But I, what, I think what I like most about it is when you put it on, how blendable it is. Some bronzers, you know, you put them on and they're just stuck and you, you just kind of have to work hard to blend them in. This one um, is not like that. And I love it. And this is a good buy. All right. And the next thing that I have is a set of eyelashes. And I know there's got to be somebody out there that's an eyelash junkie like me. If you are, I wanted to recommend two from the um, Lily Lash Collection and they have the black boxes and the white boxes. The white ones are going to be lighter and a little bit more natural. And while they are a little bit longer, just a little bit, the I feel as though the lights you can wear to work. And this one is Miami Light. 
And the next one is Mykonos, and these are very fluffy, thick, and dramatic. <laughs> so I think I have both spectrums for you. And the last thing that I want to recommend is the eyeshadow palette. And if you are a makeup lover like me, you probably already have this palette, but I think this would be a great palette for fall. it will be a great palette for work. So, you know, this is something I think that you could get your money's worth because, you know, there are, if you're that lady that wears eyeshadow every day, you know, this is the palette to get. And this is the bronze palette by Natasha Denona. And here are the shades. These are just nice shades that you can wear every day, work appropriate, church appropriate, anywhere conservative appropriate. And these are some nice shadows. They blend themselves and I think it would be a good buy. So that's it. Those are all of my recommendations for the Sephora sale. Let me know, are you going to shop the sale? What are you going to buy during the sale? Have you picked up anything that I talked about in this video? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches. Whew.